welcoming on the programme. I guess the first question that I'd ask you is, what, what do you think Princess Anna's biggest legacy has been 25 years on? Well, her compassion. Uh, it's as simple, simple as that. I mean, she... Uh, Tony Blair wasn't wrong when he called her the people's princess. I mean, she was very much uh, of the people. And I mean, I remember being in a, a, a room with her where um, in the early morning, a young mother was um, uh, nervous about meeting Diana. And Diana came in, she was a few minutes late and immediately went over and said, I'm really sorry, I'm a bit late. I've had trouble getting uh, William and Harry to school. Now, immediately she broke down the barriers and you're no longer the princess and the pauper. You've just got two young mums talking you know, as two young mums would talk, and that was uh, that was her, um, you know, a, a gift. She was able to sort of just break down all the barriers that, uh, if any barriers existed between the, you know, the top rank or the bottom rank or the middle rank. And you know, on that point, I mean, it is still striking that twenty five years on, you know, this is still such a huge story for the country and a very emotive subject. I mean, why, why do you think that is? What do you think was kind of unique about Diana that um, she had that much of an impact on the nation's consciousness? Well, the very fact you and I are talking about this 25 years after and, uh, you know, other people are, other programmes are, just goes to show just what an iconic woman this this lady was. I mean, she was a fantastic woman. I mean, she had her faults like everybody. We all have her faults and she's had her, she had her faults. But her good deeds and everything else far outweighed the, the faults that she had. I mean, she was just... She was just one of us. I mean, there's no other way of saying it. She she was just one of the people and did so much, uh, you know, to campaign for AIDS um, uh, and uh, help the aged and uh, the, the landmines. And it was complete contrast to when she first came into the royal family that she really didn't enjoy uh, the opening of various things or whatever. But once she got down to learning about causes that she really wanted to learn about she, she was an expert i mean there wasn't anybody who could uh, beat her on anything to do with landmines she was a total expert and this this is the remarkable bit about the woman that um you know she cared so much about some some of these causes and highlighted them 